How's it going guys? So today I'm going to be bringing you guys a barrel chest guide and before we get started on the screen I'm going to pop up some of the barrel chest um, stats. So let's go ahead and uh, there's the barrel chest stats. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the setup. So for the gear setup, this is going to be the welfare gear. This is probably like the lowest gear you're going to want to take. Um, you can actually exchange the uh, ranger boots and the robin hood hat for maybe like an archer's helm and uh, dragon boots. Um, you can really use whatever bolts you want. You can use ru ruby bolts, uh, onyx bolts, or uh, dragon bolts E. I use dragon bolts E, um, but you can really use you know ruby bolts, onyx bolts. I don't think it really matters. Um, but we got the black D hide with the rune crossbow. Um, and if you don't have a fury, you know it's no big deal. Or barrows gloves. You don't have to have barrows gloves either. But uh, it's nice to have it gives you an, uh, an extra uh, bonus uh, in range. So. Uh, let's move on to the next setup. Real fast, I want to note that with the welfare setup, you can hit a 31 as a max hit. So with the next setup, um, we're going to be using full void range, um, with obviously using the void ranger helm. Uh, with the Avis accumulator, Angler of Fury, <coughs> a dragon fire shield, uh, room cross spell, and this time we added the archer's ring. The max hit you can do is 34. So, um, if you have a uh, amulet of ranging, I, su I definitely suggest putting that on. It's the best range amulet you can get in the game, and it costs two thousand Slayer points. Um, so, if you get, if you can't, just put on the amulet of fury. But uh, definitely do some Slayer and get that amulet of ranging up. So, I don't know if I said this yet or not, but the max hit with the full void is a thirty-four. Now the next setup we're going to be using is full armadillo. Now this is the more pricey of the three sets. Um, I'm not going to include Pernix because Pernix is just way too expensive and most people, if you have Pernix, you know how to do barrel chest. You know how to do just about everything in the game, you know, if you have Pernix. So <coughs> uh, we have full armadillo. This time we added the aim of ranging and um, we still have the archer ring and we also uh, equip with a chaotic crossbow. Now, you can either use the Chaotic Crossbow or the Orbital Crossbow. They're both pretty much the same. Uh, there's a little bit difference. The Chaotic Crossbow um, will degrade, but the Orbital Crossbow will not. So, uh, the Orbital Crossbow is about 4 bill, maybe a little bit more. And the Chaotic Crossbow is 1300 PK Honor Points from the PK Honor Point Shop. So, the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you the inventory setup. The first inventory setup is going to be for the Welfare. Uh, gear. I'll enlarge the um, the inventory on the screen uh, so you can see it better. But we have two um, ranging potions with uh, a few super prayers and sharks. Um, if you have overloads, if you can afford overloads, um, they definitely use overloads. If you can't afford super prayers, you use just regular prayer potions. Uh, it's it's really not that big of a deal. It just depends on how long your trip will last. My apologies, on the last setup uh, gear, um, you're going to want to also bring a home teleport tab. So go ahead and add that to uh, your inventory as well. So for the next setup, this is going to be for both mid and high tier uh, setups. Uh, this is going to be the inventory set. So we got uh, two overloads with some super prayers and some serodome brews. Uh, and we also brought a cannon so that way it can aggro. Um, automatically and it just does extra damage for us at the same time so now I'm going to show you how to get to barrel chest and um, obviously how to kill it there's two safe spots you can use so to get there uh, use the donator uh, and premium teleport and you just go to the donator zone once you're at the donator zone there's going to be a red portal there's two red portals make sure you choose the right one uh, and you're going to want to go into the barrel chest portal, but before you do, uh, I, su I suggest obviously potting up, um, and then obviously select your prayer, or your prayer points, uh, your quick prayers, and put on protect from range and protect or end. Uh, if you have rigor, use that. Um, I'm using curses right now, but uh, if you have just regular, uh, just protect from prayer or from pr protect from range at least. So go ahead and enter the portal. 
So once you're here, there's already somebody here with the cannon, so that's kind of a plus. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Go and protect from uh, range real fast. And then if you just run over here right where this guy's at, um, this is actually one of the safe zones. And uh, you can just attack the bail chest from here. Now, the second safe zone is going to be just right over here. You're going to run on the southwest. And it's going to be right here um, in this corner. You can just get right here in this corner. You can set your um, your cannon down right about over here somewhere. Uh, I'll just set it down just for like an example. And once you set it down, um, when it'll aggro all of them, and uh, they'll just come straight to you, and they won't be able to hit you with their um, melee ab ability. So if you protect from range, you won't take any damage. Uh, the Serendum and bruise you bring, uh, or sharks that you bring, is in case you get hit by melee if you get a pick of a drop. So. On the screen is going to be the drop table of what they drop. Um, it's not great money. You can make a couple hundred mil an hour here. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. Uh, I'll go ahead and finish uh, some of the requirements that you need to even get to build chest. So really, there's no you know good requirements. The only requirements that you need is uh, you know 99 range, which you can get in a good five minutes, and you also need donator status, which is roughly 3.5 billion gold coins so it's, it's pretty easy to get on pk honor but uh yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this guide if you guys have any questions or any edits that you want to add go ahead and comment down below uh, if you have any questions you can always pm me in game my in-game name is soft life as you can tell so hope you guys enjoyed and adios